hello guys welcome back this is manikandan so today i am going to tell you about uh, blind crash head scripting so before that i would like to share what is crash head scripting okay so for that one this is the ppt document so today we are going to discuss about uh, these kind of agenda that uh, first one is uh, what is crash head scripting and its types and uh, what about uh, blind crash head scripting and uh, what is this one like uh, sss xss under advanced crash head scripting vulnerability scanner what is the purpose of this one then finally we are going to discuss about this uh, article which is related to you know blind cross head scripting so that you will get a more idea about blind cross head scripting so for that one le yes uh, let me tell you what is the purpose of what is the you know what is about uh, cross head scripting so cross head scripting means we can say application getting input from user if application doesn't validate that input instead of validating it's uh, reflect back to the client whatever uh, inputs given by user that is called crash head scripting you know under crash head scripting we can classify it into three types one is uh, reflected crash head scripting another one is stored crash head scripting then third one is dom document object model this is the third one of uh, crash head scripting so reflected means we can say non persistent crash head scripting uh, store means uh, persistence you know that uh, payloads or malicious script will be stored on the server side whenever user visit that page then they will they will you know they will uh, manipulate or they will redirect or they will uh, uh, you know given the cookies values depends on payloads yes so now i am going to tell you about blind cross site scripting so blind cross site scripting means you know attacker will store some kind of uh, payloads or uh, scripts on the some particular page like uh, chat box feedback form contact details these are the areas you know attacker will store some kind of value so whenever administrator uh, visit those page you know uh, mainly i would like to share some information blind cross site scripting means you know application will store some value but that reflection or that refl you know that uh, malicious action will be performed on different page yeah you know some website it's asking a feedback about the uh, some function i am going to share some information the server will store that page who is that administrator for that uh, website they will they will be on the you know they will uh, they will check on the feedback but they are going to open the page from different uh, different website different module different site so that is called blind uh, cross site scripting i mean uh, some part uh, will use to store the payload and uh, that value or that payload or that that uh, script will be performed on different page that is called blind cross site scripting so the third one is sss hunter sss hunter is a tool is a software is a website which is used to find all kinds of uh, you know cross site scripting it contains sort of payloads via this tool we can perform advanced cross site scripting uh, you know as a tester um, yes we can do or we can uh, perform assessment we can find some kind of vulnerability but you know that uh, when it comes to blind cross site scripting is too difficult to validate Uh, because uh, we have a uh, you know minimum uh, module as a uh, scope of work uh, for a particular website we are uploading some kind of payloads but we can't validate whether it is uh, working or not but when we are using that uh, ss hunter we can do or we can you know we can get a clear cut idea about the blind cross site scripting so yeah let me show the this is the you know this is the website Uh, which is used to validate whether the website vulnerable or not you know first two things we have to create the account simply you have to sign up once you log into the website this is a web page here we can you know we here we can get the list of payloads which is used to find um, um, you know um, blind cross site scripting that uh, you know uh, i am going to perform some malicious action the, the cross files so for the turn what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, demo dot uh, uh, no no i'm going to use uh, demo dot uh, test file um, this is a open source uh, web application we can we can perform our assessment
demo.testfire.net which is the vulnerable website so here uh, there is a feedback uh, column here i am going to uh, here uh, here i am going to type uh, some value uh, so for that what i am going to do i am going to copy that payload and uh, i am going to paste that payload into this uh, uh, you know this uh, column submit so once i go submitted that feedback column when that administrator going to see uh, what I'm giving that pay feedback column, then that time they will impact depends on my payload. So at that time, you know, I'm I will get uh, some information from this dashboard. So what is the victim IP? Uh, what is the vulnerable page URI? Everything we are getting the notification in this dashboard, so that we can intimate this information into the our uh, application order. Mm, this we can say this is the proof of concept. Okay so yeah now i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to just have a line i need uh, and so yes so this is the article which is related to uh, blind gas rescuing so what that uh, attacker did he was trying to find vulnerability on the flipkart website but uh, he he was trying but he didn't find anything so that time he was trying to find a uh, you no know, blind cross executing he mentioned everything what is uh, ss vendor we are ss vendor you know he, he was uploading this uh, payload into flipkart website this is the flipkart uh, uh, flipkart website at the time uh, he got uh, you know notification like vulnerable web page url ip everything he got you know I hope uh, I have cleared everything what is uh, meaning of uh, blind crash escaping. Thank you so much for watching this video.